Hi everyone, my name is Simon Mishevich from Optimize Accountants and in this video I'm going to be talking about three main providers of online bookkeeping systems that you should be aware of to replace those nasty spreadsheets that you've been clinging on for dear life. We know that making tax digital is around the corner for especially for landlords but for small businesses as well and we also know that the functionality of Excel is well pretty bad isn't it because they break so much and the latest statistic I saw from Microsoft surveys talked about 85% of errors are found in Excel spreadsheets so why use them at all you spend so much time fixing Excel spreadsheets when you should be using online systems to help your life make it easier but I know some people just don't want to put the money into it I call it invest money to save time and that is what I want to really show you today and to make a comparison, which is best, I'm going to look at functionality, support, integration, cost, and then my overall opinion. So stay until the end because you need to take a broad brush approach to this in terms of my overall opinion. I might be biased for my specific needs. Yours may be different and therefore your overall may be, will be different. So it'd be interesting if you can leave your comments below with what you would prefer to use or indeed are using functionality so this is the big thing i want to talk about now functionality the ease and speed of using each system now i have to say when it comes to zero i love zero it is so intuitive in terms of adding invoices on there doing your bank reconciliation adding it to looking at your receivables your expenses and a profit and loss looking at your assets and liabilities and back in your balance sheets zero has a lot to offer when it comes to functionality and i've used all three so i can certainly talk from authority not just someone who's trying to sell you some sort of uh, rate i don't sell anything here by the way it's for you just to make your own decision on it um now when it comes to quickbooks <laughs> Do you know, I've used QuickBooks for many years. It pretty much has the same functionality of Zero, but it's built more like Sage. And notice I'm not going to be talking about Sage because I think it's awful. And I don't think it's, it's one of those Woolworths kind of companies that really doesn't know it's dead yet. Uh, I know they're joining integrations, but it's just, it's just never really took off. Um, sorry for you guys at Sage, but pff, you know, it's, you're just nowhere near uh, where you ought to be. Uh, so when it comes to uh, functionality of QuickBooks, I do think it's trying to do a great veneer of Xero, but it's clunky. I find that I have to go back through certain screens to get the information I need. And if I have to redo the transactions, I have to go through so many navigation panes. I find it really difficult to use. Free Agent, um, on the other hand, has for me has less functionality of what you can really do with the system it still has things like um adding invoices bank reconciliation so if you don't need anything too complex you're not looking to integrate it with many systems then actually free agent has what it needs and the functionality the ease of use of that is pretty decent i have to say so so when it comes to functionality, the clear winner for me is zero. I think QuickBooks is a great tool. It's trying its best, but it just doesn't have the intuitive nature of zero. And I think FreeAgent is a great system, but it just doesn't have the amount of functionality that is in zero. So zero for me is a clear winner. And I've used all three systems, I'd say, and none of them are really terrible. I think, if I'm totally honest here, I think that QuickBooks is so clumsy, I prefer Xero and FreeAgent all day long. Um, but that's just my opinion. I'd be interested to see what you tell me from what you see. Uh, support, um, what happens when goes, something goes wrong, you need to reach out to someone, you need a resolution pretty quickly. How effective is the support? And again, I've used all three systems, I've used all three support mechanisms, more some more than others, I have to say. And QuickBooks does give you uh, the phone, the chat, and the email support, which is fantastic. Zero relies on um, email tickets, which is a little bit frustrating. They used to have phone support. They don't do that as much now, in fact, at all, in fact. Um, so you do have to get email tickets, which is time consuming. If you want something done there and then, you can't get that done. Um, if you want phone chat, um, then you are going to be looking at QuickBooks or free agent for that. Now, how good is the support though? Because <laughs> it's one thing to get your instant response, but actually how good are they? 
QuickBooks lets me down pretty a lot. Um, I will go through telling them what I need, what the problems are. If I've got a journal, I need to revert, or I've got a transaction that shouldn't be there, my bank reconciliation, trying to get it off, but it's sticking for whatever reason. Again, that's the thing about QuickBooks. I mean, it has quirkiness. That for me just means that it shouldn't really be built in the system. It should be removed altogether, but it's there. You then try and fix it, and the support you get is mediocre at best. Uh, the zero email tickets responses is pretty effective. Um, they do give you the resolutions. They do give you the links to further reading as well, just to brush up on certain things. So I do think that uh, zero has got a good kind of support. Uh, but free agent again, one of those things. It's because it doesn't have too much functionality. Not a lot goes wrong with it. But if you need to make a quick online call or indeed uh, chat, you can get that functionality. Um, but I want to just talk about something else because support is there if something goes wrong. But what if you just want to gem up on your own skills and not rely on making uh, too much contact with the support agents? And I have to say that QuickBooks does a great job of their videos, not as many as Zero. Uh, Zero again is one of the things you can get Zero certifications to really test yourself, brush up on certain th skill sets that you probably weren't aware of. Um, it's a bit like Excel again. How much of Excel do you really understand with all the functionalities, the built-in templates, the form? You probably don't know half. If not, another statistic: people saying that you use twenty percent capability of zero so there you are when it comes to zero great great uh, amounts of uh, videos to use certification and webinars as well free agent does have a number of uh, videos for you to use i think they've really done much better uh, for me in terms of giving you the online chat and support uh, as well as the videos now when it comes to support where which weird where do i sit with this to be honest, I think they're all so good um, in different ways. If you want instant support, then I think Xero does let itself down. Uh, they should really push on those, the phone support. But otherwise, it's got such great videos. You won't, you will be able to find your own resolution, basically. Uh, Free Agent QuickBooks have got, again, support. They've got great videos. I think each one of those platforms is so much better than using Excel. Okay. Uh, integrations, uh, QuickBooks has got quite a few integrations and apps. So if you want to, if you're using different softwares like I am, I use a CRM system, I use a accounting system that does other things, not just in terms of Xero and, and uh, free agents, but I have other apps as well. Uh, contract management systems, inventory, uh, if you do online product sales, then you know, you've got some great capabilities with uh, QuickBooks and you can certainly do that. It's not as many as uh, Zero. I'll come on to that in a second. But Free Agent, I think this is where it, it's showing its infancy into the marketplace. It doesn't have that many uh, apps and add-ons. It's got payments and stuff like that, like Stripe and whatever, PayPal. But it doesn't go far enough in terms of integration. So if you're a sophisticated business owner, then I don't think that uh, Free Agent is going to be right for you. However, Zero, wow. Um, if you could think of something, Zero's probably got an app for it. So, you know, it's got so much uh, sources of detail here uh, that you can just add on to Zero. It will all connect brilliantly as well. Uh, so there, it's just amazing for add-ons for sure. So from an integration perspective, I would say that Zero just wins hands down. If you're a sophisticated business, Zero is certainly the one for you. Uh, we need to think about costs because Excel spreadsheets are free, aren't they? Well, okay, that's a fair comment. But how much time do you spend on Excel spreadsheets versus looking to save time? And how much of your time is valuable? I think all of it is valuable. And therefore, using online systems will help you. The bank reconciliation functionality of all these systems will save you time. And ultimately, that should save you money if you can earn money elsewhere. Now, pricing, I mean, wow, complex. Um, I mean, this is QuickBooks. It talks to you about self-employed, Simply Start, Essentials Plus, Advanced. I'm looking at the kind of middle ranges. Um, what you have to be careful of is when they say it's £2.40 a month or dollars, depending on obviously in the US. But then after that, for three months, it then goes up to 24 So you have to be careful because they do put in this big 
a very good sales technique. Uh, it's this price. I mean, if you don't read the small print, you're hooked into the wrong pricing after three months. And let's be fair, you are going to want to stay with your bookkeeping system for a long period of time. So is it the right thing? Well, 24 to 34 pounds is about the benchmark of what you should be paying for this application. Let's have a look at zero. Again, zero, you have to be careful of. Big, bold numbers of how much you can save, but then look at the small print. It doubles after a period of time. This though has six months worth of uh, discount, so much better than uh, three months of QuickBooks. But again, looking at pricing, I think most people will be in the 28 pounds bracket. If I'm totally honest with you in terms of functionality, you can use the 14 pounds mark because if you've got a simple business, not much going on, then that will be fine. But most people I do see have to fit onto this uh, side of things. Um, the, the things you need to think about here is add-ons like payroll as well. So if you've got, as it says here, free for two months and then you have to pay extra. Like any other system, to be fair, you have to read the small print, but this is the standard pricing. Now, when it comes to uh, free agent, some of the pricing is £14.50 per month and then £29, quite high, to be honest, for a system that is not quite there yet. Um, the, or you've got your annual to reduce your costs. But the big thing for me is actually if you have got a business bank account with NatWest or Metal, which Metal is very interesting if you want free banking then Metal would be a good option for you. Um, but Metal gives you free access to free agents. So the cost is zero. So that's a big consideration for anyone who's really trying to reduce their cost and needs a relatively simple system. If you're not too sophisticated that you need inventory management systems, you've got CRM integrations, if you don't need that, then I think free agent could well be the right thing for you. There is an extra pricing for a free agent on, uh, for landlords, which is at £10 plus VAT. So again, could be very interesting. It does say here, designated specifically to help landlords manage their property finances and self-assessment tax returns. I have to be honest, the, the functionality of their self-assessment uh, tax returns, similar to zero, isn't great. So uh, again, just you have to be quick, careful of quickness. If you've got multiple streams of income, that needs to be calculated. None of them have been very good when it comes to self-assessment tax returns, but good for bookkeeping, and that's what they're designed for. Uh, so cost for me, I would say the free agent, if you've got a NatWest or you've got a uh, metal bank account, because it's free. Um, again, if you're looking at the total monthly fees, then they're all the, pretty much the same, no real differential. But the key thing here for me is if you really are trying to reduce costs, which I think you should be doing, get a NetWest bank account or a Metal bank account and then use free agent and it's going to be free. So again, if you don't need the functionality, free agent is probably your best one. Overall, unfortunately, QuickBooks just does not meet the cut. I just think it's so quirky. The support is hit and miss. The pricing is pretty high. Um, and Therefore, I think zero. if you're looking for a sophisticated business, you need lots of things going on with connections with you, your other online systems, zero wins hands down, even though you're paying a fee. And that's why I, I've kind of put that alongside free agent, which is free. It's just a lot simple of a system. And that's fine because it is free if you've got a bank account with NatWest or Metal. So please tell me what you're using, what systems, if you're using Excel spreadsheets and you're thinking about using online, based on this video, which one will you opt for for a trial? And that's the thing, you can trial out different systems. If you're good to trial out a different system, I would say zero and free agent is probably your best options to give a free trial. You can do it for a month and see how you get on, you can disconnect one. Um, but let me know what you're using and best of luck to you all.